Have you ever been in a situation where you wished you could run different premises or scenarios and see how this real world changes impact your data? For example, you could see how your quarterly earnings are affected by different market factors or how your company's carbon footprint improves if more of your employees start using electric vehicles. In this video, I'll show you how to do this using workshop scenarios, which allows the users to run different hypotheses on the data without actually having to modify this data. This is the first part of a three-part video series on using scenarios in workshop. I'll start from a simple workshop module. This module contains a few basic widgets that show information about some hypothetical flight passengers, their flyer status, and how many flights they've booked. We will now enable scenarios for this dashboard so that users can run what-if simulations on their data. We first need to add a scenario manager widget that enables users to create new scenarios. Now, to make the rest of the widgets scenario aware, we need to change the configuration of the widgets. Let's take the object table first. In the configuration, we select Compare Against Scenarios and choose the scenario set from the dropdown. However, at this point, we haven't applied any modifications to our scenario, so the data should be the same. To create a scenario, we need to configure an action to apply to it. We have a button here that we can configure to apply its underlying action to the scenario that we create. This will now only run a what-if modification rather than changing the underlying data. Using the newly configured action, let's try changing the property of any object in the table to a new value. However, before we can apply the action, we need to create a new scenario in the Manager widget by clicking the Create button. In this example, we will modify the number of flights for a particular passenger. We now see the object table refresh with the new data, including the modification we just made. We can also create another scenario for comparison by pressing the Create button in the Manager again. Once created, you'll see the values from the second scenario side by side with the first one in the object table, but only in the columns that differ. Since the second scenario has not been modified yet, it should show the values from the ontology. We can also populate values in metric cards from scenarios. In the metric card configuration, we're modifying the numeric metric to take the data from the scenario instead of the ontology. This metric card is now showing the object set aggregation performed with modifications from the scenario applied. Similarly, there are other widgets that can be configured as scenario where. Scenario comparison can be shown in charts, pivot tables, or property lists. The setup is always the same. You can either set the widget to load the data from a specific scenario, or set up the aggregation to be computed based on the scenario modifications, as we did in the metric card. In the next videos, we will explore how to save, load, and apply these scenarios.